Hi and welcome to my studio. Uh, thank you for joining me again and thank you for all the uh, new subscribers in the last uh, week or so. Um, it's really encouraging, really great to, uh, to uh, welcome you all to my studio and to my uh, sketches. I don't, um, just to give you a little bit of uh, background here, I don't uh, advertise these as tutorials or how to sketch a barn or uh, anything like that. This is just me sketching and uh, if you uh, happen to gain some, some uh, something from it, that's great. But it's mostly for um, just me doing something, sharing with other people. And uh, I'm really glad uh, that you're all enjoying it. Uh, and I really appreciate the comments. I had one comment very recently uh, from a viewer and uh, saying that um, she's been a little um, kind of afraid of just going in and doing a drawing with with a fountain pen with ink rather than uh, doing a, a sketch uh, with pencil first. But I'll tell you something, uh, when I was doing a, before I did this sketch, I did uh, three others uh, in my little uh, my little drawing pad here, which I wasn't uh, totally happy with. So it, it's uh, it's not that I um, I don't want to give the impression that I just pick up a pen and then every every drawing is uh, perfectly the way I want it because it's not. And that's another thing too. What uh, about art? Um, there, there is no, uh, there is no perfect way of drawing. My, uh, my grandkids and I were drawing the other day, and uh, they were saying, "Oh my gosh, uh, Grandma and Grandpa, this, they're uh, professional artists, and look at all this stuff in their house, and this is great, and we're just, you know, we're just uh, drawing, you know, but." No, that's the, the wrong way of looking at things because every art is so subjective and so individual and art is um, art can be in any style in any any uh, medium and as long as you in, as you get pleasure from it that's the main thing and uh, there are so many different tastes and uh, ways of looking at the world. There is no right and wrong way of drawing. I guess what I'm trying to say, for people that uh, are a little nervous about going right in and, and uh, doing it with the pen, just do it on on a piece of scrap paper or or a pad like I am that uh, it really uh, is not the end of the world if, if you have a drawing that's not quite up to your um, to your liking so you just do the next one and the next one and uh, guaranteed you will hit on one that you'll say well that just worked out just nicely and it looks good to me and uh, that's the main thing. But I decided to um, leave the watercolor painting out this time and just go for the sketch. It's a 10 minutes. This is how long it took me to, to do it. This is in real time right here. I haven't sped anything up. And uh, this is uh, this is just me drawing, just relaxing and drawing. I find it very relaxing, and that's uh, I think that's what you have to do. You have to enjoy it. Put some nice soft music on, or hard music if that's uh, if that's your bag, and just get right into it. I find it so relaxing and so um, refreshing. A 
It's a form of escape. As is reading a book or uh, watching a movie. The roof here, uh, what from what I can see in the photograph, there are um, little shapes on the uh, the roof. I'm not sure whether it will be uh, would be shingles or um, sometimes they have the the uh, metal uh, uh, shingles or um, uh, on uh, the older buildings. But anyway, I, I just give a gave a, like an impression of a few little. Uh, half circles there on the roof and the front part of the roof is just the regular uh, tin roof rusted tin roof which uh, adds to the that's a nice color to the uh, the scene too if you were to add uh, color to this and as as, uh, as usual um, I I really appreciate any comments like if you if you have an idea for a drawing or if you if you even watch this one and you say well I wonder how he would put watercolor to it or or um, any other kind of color to it then um, please let me know I well, this is this drawing here is exactly how I would draw if I was going to uh, put watercolor to it I don't have any different uh, kind of technique in my in my in my style at the moment. That hatching there, um, I, I'm doing it quite fast. But that just comes from experience and uh, um, control of your hand. I'm holding the pen quite loosely and letting it uh, almost uh, lightly skim the page when I'm doing the lines. The grass, I just kind of give a, a blade here and a blade there just to give the idea of uh, of grass. It was kind of a, a, a learning uh, experience knowing what to put in, what not to put in and um, like I said I don't get everyone exactly right and I've thrown many out but sometimes um, it comes out okay. So it's, it's just a matter of the feel, like when you get to a point and, and uh, you, you have to stop yourself drawing and say, okay, that's enough, that gives you, gives the, um, gives the impression I was trying to achieve, the look. I added um, shadow to the, that side of the barn facing us just to give, uh, give the sun um, a position in the sky, give some shadow to everything, make it a little bit more three-dimensional. I did actually do this drawing once before, and I think I, I put it up on my Instagram. And the one, the one up there is not this one. I was just doing it uh, one day just for uh, just for drawing fun and I didn't film it and it came out uh, quite different which is quite interesting like if I was to do this again um, it would come out different again there is, there is no set way to do these things and I actually liked how this one came out a little bit more anyway as I babble on, um, thanks for thanks for watching, and please uh, subscribe uh, and send a comment. 
let me know that you're watching and uh, give me some ideas. Take care. <laughs>